Shalom. Um, first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and a peace and a salute to the brothers that's doing the work and teaching the correct doctrine. Um, I just wanted to get into a little lesson today about uh, I was doing some research, um, you know, as usual, and um, I came across. Um, you know, a topic that I thought about, about us being Israelites and how important it is. And that's our salvation and our history and our lineage and our uh, nationality. And uh, whether you notice or not, in nature, you know, Israel, Israel, um, the word itself, being an Israelite means a prince of power. By nature, we are God's children. And uh, we're on the right side of the Lord. So that would make us righteous. Now, right now, we do have some wicked Israelites right now. All of us considered, you know, not perfect and going off in this system of things. But uh, the elect is always, uh, you know, the first fruit and bound for righteousness. But at one time, at one point, all Israel, even though it's hard to believe, at one point, all Israel is going to be righteous. And um, at the time, around, um, around the time in Mo, when we was in the wilderness, you know, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are Israelites. We was in the real wilderness. I'm going to do a little history. We did some wicked things. A lot of us got put to death by the Most High, and a lot of us didn't. And a lot of us, there's only a, a three people not a, well, a certain generation that actually entered into the promised land. But the, a lot of people uh, that left out of Egypt died off. But Israel did do a couple righteous things in the wilderness. And I wanted to bring that out in this lesson. It's not going to be long. It's just a, you know, little short lesson uh, that um, I wanted to bring out what Israel did. Um, the Israelites are righteous by nature, and uh, we strive to do righteous righteousness acts. And uh, this was a righteous act that uh, most of the Israelites uh, did actually in the wilderness. Even though a lot of Israelites went off in the wilderness, this was a righteous act that a lot of Israelites uh, actually uh, uh, did in the wilderness. <clears throat> um, concerning the Lord and his tabernacle. And um, I'm going to just bring out a, a I want to bring out a, a a little time in history a count a count in history I want to bring this out that, uh, I'm going to go to Exodus and when you get some free time you can go and read uh it really starts, the account really starts at Exodus, the 35th chapter. And when you get some free time, you know, just read uh, Exodus 35, the chapter of uh, Exodus, chapter 35 and 36. But I'm going to just go a little bit into the account at uh, Exodus, the 36th chapter, at verse 2. I'm going to start at verse 2. And it reads, And Moses called Bez Bezalel and Aholai, and every wise-hearted man in whose heart the Lord had put wisdom, even every one whose heart steered him up to come unto the work to do it. Now, this was in the, when they was in the wilderness. Verse 3, And they received of Moses all the offering which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary to make, to make it withal and they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning and all the wise men that wrought that brought all the work of the sanctuary came every man from his work which they made and they spake unto Moses saying the people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded to make and Moses gave 
verse 30, verse. So at verse 5, let me let me read this again. It says, And they spoke unto Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded to make. So the people at the people bought more than enough. They actually gave more than what the Lord asked for. So that was that was a righteous act. They, you know, in other words, they wasn't being niggers. They wasn't stingy. And this was basically almost the whole Israel on this account. Um, I'm going to go back. Yeah, I'm going to bring back verse 5 again. And I'm going to read on. It says, And they spake unto Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work. That's the key, key hit right there, which the Lord commanded to make. And Moses gave commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing. For they stuff, for the stuff they had, for the stuff they had was sufficient for all the work to make it in two months. See that? So they brought two months. The people actually brought they Moses when they were in the wilderness to build the uh, the sanctuary and the tabernacle. The people actually brought they brought so much stuff that Moses had to say, "Look, that's enough, y'all. Y'all don't have to bring any more. Y'all can stop it right there." Moses had to had to put out a commandment or order for them to stop bringing stuff. So that's how generous, generous our people can be at times. You know, even though our people are wicked, is how Israelites through nature, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Americans through nature. That's how the Most High made us. Through nature, we are generous, righteous people, and in the kingdom, all Israel will be righteous. You know. And that was just a uh, account that I wanted to bring out on, uh, you know, one of the Israelite, you know, the Israelites being um, righteous, because that was that was, you know, it hit me to the heart when I read that, you know, because a lot of you know, the Bible is a um, is all about controversy, you know, but the, it's 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 a balance to it, you know, it has its ups and it has its downs, you know, right and wrong, left and right, you know. But that was just, I just wanted to bring that account out um, that Israel was righteous on this account. Um, I hope this was edifying. Um, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Uh, Till then, Shalom.